Helicopter 4 showing us a stretch of I-25 where a driver made a disturbing report. An inmate transport van driving 100 miles per hour, possibly racing with a drunk driver. And Karen, that van is similar to this one. It was being used at the time by the Denver Sheriff's Office. The deputy behind the wheel did have inmates in the back, and we've learned this is not the first time Deputy James Grimes has been mired in controversy. He was one of the deputies involved in this ugly incident at the Denver jail way back in 2010. Marvin Booker died after the deputies restrained him, choked him, and then jolted him with a taser. CBS 4's Jamie Leary has been looking into this for us. And Jamie, you talked with one of Booker's attorneys about the latest incident with the van. We did, and she thinks that this legislative session in general, we could see more discussion around independent invest investigations into law enforcement conduct. This is what she wanted when she was on the Marvin Booker case. She said it could have resulted in criminal charges. And now she believes that one of those five deputies, her reaction to him being uh, not charged in this case, and then this misconduct again, allegedly, she says frustrated, doesn't even begin to cut it. Members of law enforcement shouldn't just be held to the same standards as the rest of us, but a higher standard. They've taken an oath to serve and protect, and that's what they have to do. It's what most law enforcement in Colorado do on a daily basis, but... There are a few bad apples who put who make a bad name for other law enforcement. Mari Newman knows she was one of the prosecutors in the excessive force killing of Marvin Booker. In 2014, Five Denver deputies were ordered to pay millions for their actions. However, they all continue to work in law enforcement, including Deputy James Grimes, a name Newman hasn't heard since that trial. I wish I could say that I was surprised to hear that Deputy Grimes engaged in another round of misconduct where he put inmates at risk, but it's not a surprise. It was just last Thursday, Colorado State Patrol says Grimes was charged with recklessly driving an occupied prisoner transport van. Witnesses say he appeared to be racing a pickup truck along I-25. Both vehicles were clocked in excess of 100 miles per hour. Of course there are good police and there are good sheriffs, but officers like Deputy Grimes, who continue to put their department in the limelight for their bad conduct, put all officers at risk. They need to be disciplined, they need to be fired, and they need to be criminally charged. There's a sheriff's deputy in the passenger seat. Grimes was the driver. That sheriff's deputy has been reassigned. Grimes is on administrative leave. Live in Denver, Jamie Leary covering Colorado First.